Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here in my home garage. Today I'm going to give you a quick little tech tip on tipping an edge in a bead roller and a way you can mix and match some of your dies to get really nice, crisp, bent edges using your bead roller. So let's get started. All right, so uh, first thing we have set up here is I have kind of a mix and match set of dies here and I'll explain why. So the upper wheel, I have a sharp tipping die and what I have here is a, another dip, tipping die that comes in the uh, forming die set. Now this die, you will notice, is a little wider and doesn't have as sharp of like a, a nice knife edge like this die has. So depending on the type of bent edge you're trying to do, you may pick a different die. But we're trying to show you how to make a nice crisp bent edge using your bead roller. So the first thing I do is I put this sharp tipping die on and then I have the forming die set with the lower sleeve and then our soft polyurethane lower wheel. And I'm gonna start by turning this down to the point where it is just digging into our poly lower wheel and it's deflecting the uh, lower wheel just a little bit. And I have my metal here with a line drawn on here and I'm going to show you guys how to tip this edge using this first step here. Alright so I'm ready to start rolling in. So I feed the, the die in and this has a little bit of a curve to it so this is why we can't just use a normal standard break. So I'm going to put very little tension up on my, my left hand here and I'm just going to focus on following my, my line. Now the reason we're using this soft lower wheel is that because you have it digging into the lower wheel with the upper wheel, it's going to naturally start bending that edge for us without us having to pull up on the panel. And we can focus on following our line that we have drawn on the panel. Okay, so I did one more little half turn and we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna insert the panel at a little bit of an angle. But again, it, we're gonna let the bead roller and the, the deflection of the lower wheel kind of do the work for us so that we don't have to pull up real hard on the panel. We can just focus on following our line and get that edge tipped. And after your first pass, it'll kind of want to follow the track. So a lot of times it's not, you can go a little faster. So what ends up happening, as you can see here, is we have the line is kind of soft through here, especially right at the end here. The line is getting kind of soft and it's not as sharp throughout the whole entire piece here. So what I like to do if I'm trying to make a very sharp crisp line with this upper sharp upper wheel is we're going to take off this soft lower wheel and we're going to put on a uh, hard steel lower wheel and that will allow us to crispen up this line and finish the bend. Alright so the next step here what I do is I take the, the uh, step number three of the hem die kit. It comes with two hard steel flat dies that are basically meant to crash, crush a hemmed edge nice and flat for the last step when you're finished. What I like to do is use this die, one of these dies, for my lower, my lower die when we're doing this crisp uh, bent edge on here. So I'm going to take one of them out of there. I've already mounted it on the bottom here. And we can run this down till basically it touches. And I'll put like light force on it, not a lot. And again, we'll put that in there. I'm gonna put this up at an angle. Start running it through. So you can already see that it's crispening up this edge right here that we had that was really soft in the last step with the lower die. So the, the, uh, the soft lower die helps you set the edge really quick 
and then we can go back through and run this a couple of times. It'll crispen this edge up and make it really, really nice so uh, everything looks like factory. All right, so that's just a quick demo with tipping an edge. Something that helps me is using that lower soft die with the sharp upper die to set my, my line so I can really focus on setting that line without having to pull up real hard on the panel, especially when you're doing a curve or a shape in a panel that may be difficult. And then you can follow up with the hard lower die to just set that edge, make it a little more crisp. And you can do it on simple uh, tipping of edges like this or something more uh, difficult like I've been doing here with this door skin where we're making a, a custom body line. We had a lot of edges that we needed to really make nice, crisp bends or set body lines in. And by using that method, it worked for all of these steps here. And I was able to get something that when it's all said and done, will look factory. If you want to learn more about Eastwood bead roller tools or anything that I showed today, you can visit the link down below. Or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.